What's going on, YouTube? It is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz, featured on ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox, coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Ooh Hope you guys are trying for your purpose and mission in life. You guys are going out there, working hard for it, grinding it out, and getting rewarded for it because at the end of the day, when we the purpose and mission in life, good things do happen. Um, I got off the phone not too long ago uh, coaching uh, one of uh, somebody that was watching my videos and wanted to seek some um, coaching on, you know, pretty much post-breakup. Um, well, post well, in the breakup stages, because now he's just in the beginning. I'm not going to say his name or will say his situation just out of respect. But I do want to speak about this topic, and that is getting familiar, excuse me, getting familiar with the unfamiliar. What do I mean by that is when you've been in a relationship for more than a year or even six months, right? Six months, depending on, you know, where you are. Six months, a year to two years, three years, four years, however long it has been, even eight, 10, 15, right? Um, it's going to be super strange. And I only say it's going to be super strange is because you forgot how it is to be single. You forgot how it is to be independent. Now, I don't know in your previous relationship that you were independent, but I can say that you probably weren't as independent as you think you might have been. So in this case... You know, I, I, I want to backtrack to when I had to learn to be a little bit more independent. I was actually still trying to find my identity because I didn't know who the fuck I was. I like that the person I want, like the relationship was so off and on to where I was just like, I, I wasn't sure where to start. Um, I try to convince myself or try to convince myself that it could work by planting uh, things that you know, I should have done the whole should have thing, should have done thing. But when you think of the should haves, I should have done this. You wouldn't have known that today. You wouldn't have known that. You wouldn't have known that back then had you not gone through the experience that you're going through right now. So like, I should have did this instead. I should have did this instead. Otherwise we would have still been together. You could think that all you want, but you didn't know that at the time until right now. So it's going to be strange. It is going to be very, very unfamiliar. Now, what most people like to do, here's the thing. Women have an abundance of it. They can have any guy that they want. I, and a lot of them know that, and some of them don't know that. While guys don't have that kind of abundance. And having that abundancy is kind of hard to have. I mean, there's some guys will have it, naturally, because they've been around women their entire life and stuff like that. But when it comes to... You know, being in the breakup stages and trying to learn about who you are and all that stuff, you got to really, this is the time to really start learning from your pain. If you're going to, if you're feeling this hurt right now, it, just understand it's going to be, it's going to take some time to get over it. And, you know, you might be in the stages to where you have to learn how to be on your own. You have to learn that to rely on anybody else's fo because of the, um to make you happy you have to rely on yourself to make you happy because at the end of the day all you have is you and of course if you have your family with you you have them as well but at the end of the day you have you uh let's see and that's one of the things that i took from my last relationship two years ago was that i said i need to be on my own dude i can't be in this relationship because i'm attracting the same kind of people not only that i don't think i've given myself enough time to be single i don't think i've given myself enough time to love myself i don't give i don't think i've given myself enough time to even respect myself because i'm just i'm so I'm, I'm I'm okay with mediocrity, but I'm not now. And then, well, I'm not, not. That's what I was saying at the time. I'm not okay with mediocrity. I'm okay with walking away from someone, even if it's the third date. And like it was good, but all the time, all, but all of a sudden, if it's the third date, and I'm not feeling it, then you know what, honey, I gotta go. I'm gonna go my way. You gotta go your way. Because at the end of the day, I respect. I, it's not that I respect myself, but I know my values. And if I can't see eye to eye with you, and vice versa, then you know what, it's no hard feelings. That's abundance, you guys. Um, but being in this stage in your life, if you are just starting fresh and you are just now in like you just broken up like not too long ago, be just understand this that your the thoughts are gonna go through your mind. You're gonna start to feel some emotions, and it's your job to fight those emotions and you know it's okay to accept them. Um, if you got to cry, then cry it all out. Cry it all out. I mean, 
there's some people that say men shouldn't cry and stuff like that, but I think we're we're all humans, man. So like, if a man has to cry, like, let him cry because that's the only way he knows how to find himself and find the answers within himself. Um, so, I mean, when you're going through the stage, and if you're in the beginning part, understand this is going to be your time to shine. So. If it didn't work out, you know, that's okay. It didn't work. At least it happened, right? And as much as you wanted to continue, you probably would have been just as unhappy or even more unhappy. Because if something already triggered this person to break up with you or you broke up with them, it's going to continue on of unhappiness. Now, communication does resolve everything. So, and if the communication is they don't want to be with you, then hey, you know what? That's all, that, That's nothing but respect. If you are challenging yourself and saying like, ah, oh, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I should do this and do that. Maybe I should give this other person. A if it's so soon, I wouldn't do that. The only reason why I say I wouldn't do that if it's so soon is because you haven't given enough time for the relationship that you had with that person to really take its, you really haven't had enough time to learn from it and what was good and what was bad and what could you have done better for yourself to you know make someone else happy you know or to make yourself happy uh, so excuse me um you know <clears throat> when it comes to breaking up this is all about finding yourself now maybe you are in a position to where you know you're in a relationship but it's hit the plateau and the plateau is like there's no growth anymore there's like it's the same shit yeah whatever whatever but there's it, there's just so much complexity it's just complication excuse me that um you just don't know but understand this if some of you are afraid of being single guess what it's going to happen because you are attracting what you are fearing and it's going to happen if you keep fearing that if you don't know how and there's just, there's there's a lot of it, it's very interesting how things do happen and stuff like that but like you know there was a point where i didn't want i wanted to be single but at the same time i didn't because i truly was there are times i wanted to be single and times i didn't and you know what at the time i could say that i wanted to be single i should have been single because I knew what was I, I knew what was unhealthy for me, but I loved that shit at the time, and that wasn't good. <laughs> and it wasn't good for me to continue staying in that relationship with that person because I'm just I'm doing just as much harm to her than I, I'm doing it to myself because I'm staying in something and I'm having her to stay in it. And it's, it I mean it, it it really is interesting when you understand like human nature and stuff like that. And but. If you feel like you're obligated to see how this person is doing, your ex is doing and stuff like that, you're not obligated to do so because they're just as independent as you are. You have to go your way and you have and they have to go their own way. Like they have to figure shit on their own and you have to trust that the fact they're going to figure it out. You're not their parent. You're not someone that's just going to like make sure that they're okay, that they're going to be okay without you. They're going to be okay without you and you're going to be just as okay without her or them um, or him. Uh, but I hope that whole thing makes sense. And for the person that is watching the video and that, um, I talked with earlier today, I'm hoping I gave you a lot more clarity into your life and that not only will this give you more, uh, success in your future, but it will show you who you truly really are. And it will allow you to leverage off of that to become even a better person because at the end of the day every single day ladies and gentlemen that's watching this video we are focusing to become a better person every single day every day you know we want to be a better person i can't think of any other goal that should be happening it's just none other than just being a better person every single day and if you're not focusing on being a better person every day then you know then what are you really focusing on? You know, if you're trying to have more money in your life, then guess what? Be a better person. If you're trying to, if you're running your own business and you're trying to attract new clients, guess what? Be a better person. If you're trying to get a new job, but you don't know how to get there, guess what? Be a better, be a better person. So I can't 
I don't know what else to say upon that, but that's pretty much the whole thing. So if you guys find this information valuable, I want you to drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share, and of course it is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. And please, uh, if you guys, and obviously I do say if you guys find this information valuable, please drop a donation. Um, if you want to see more of my work, I'm I'm happy to do this. Uh, for you, so there's a uh, PayPal donation. I said uh, GoFundMe the other day, but there's a PayPal link in the description box, and your donation is uh, appreciated. So again, guys, thank you so much, and uh, till next time, later.